We cover Pixel Book. We do. Wow, we, we did. did. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. We did. So let's just let's just let's just talk. Rip about the it. bandaid let's off. Let's just talk about it. So. We've got we've got a picture of the OG Pixel Book. There we got a print. We have yeah, yeah no we do have a print. We have a awesome photo of the Pixel Book Go and the original Pixel Book up on the screen. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. R.I.P. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's uh, that's that's not something that's going to be announced because no. it's not happening. No, and it's unfortunately because uh, it, if you think about the market and like where it is right now, where where we sit and the devices that we have coming out, you know, the Dragonfly is a perfect mm-hmm. example of this device that is cutting edge and has all kinds of new features and it's awesome. I mean, heck, the, the, was it made by Google their Instagram account that yeah, put yeah. It, they put it, they put it meet in there. The new Dragonfly. Yeah. And you know, the thing is, like Google, um, you know, we were told by HP, Google had a huge hand, like probably built the internal part of that Dragonfly Chromebook, like no different than they would have designed the internals of uh, Pixelbook or something. Um, so they had a huge hand in doing that. But then HP obviously finished off the outside. And as nice as the Dragonfly is, as great as an experience it, as it is to use it, there just is something different um and it's an attention to detail but it's not as if the 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 google made chromebooks are the only ones that have that attention um i would i would say like there's a small category of of devices that have this and i would say that like apple's macbooks have that um microsoft's uh, first party surface hardware has that and then google's pixel and pixel book devices have that and you know it's it's strange because it's it seems like it's hard to define because, like Abe said, the, these weren't devices that had the best overall hardware, technically. I mean, right. especially from an internal standpoint. I mean, you could argue, no, like, I mean, the Pixelbook Go had a mediocre screen. You know, it's like, yeah, it's a 1080p, 13 more 3 inch, 16 by 9 panel that didn't get that bright, and it's fine. It's just, it's fine. I remember, I'll never forget being at Vegas, and ha- that was the one I had on me. And uh, we stopped to see the the um, Samsung Galaxy Chromebook, and we flipped its OLED brilliance open, and put the Pixelbook next to it, and then, or the Pixelbook Go next to it, and the the Go screen looked absolutely dingy mm-hmm. and terrible. So it's not as if Google um, adds takes all the right things and puts it in a bowl and mixes it together and just goes, "Hey, we picked all the big hardware and and we got this nice thing." It's we're gonna take good stuff. But then we're going to have this craftsmanship and attention to detail on the outside parts of the device yeah. that are necessary to make something that feels different. And, you know, we're going to spend a lot of time researching and developing how we're going to make the chassis and then figure out how to fit the parts that we want inside that. And, you know, that that clearly takes a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of skill. Um, and, and I understand that that's probably why the Pixel Books were always a little bit high on the price range. Right. Um but there, there's no substitute for it. And for right now, there's no OEM that matches that right. in the Chromebook space. And I don't think in the Windows space. Maybe a Dell XPS. Right. Maybe, but I still, I've picked up XPSs and I'm like, but something, still not the yeah, same. Something just occurred to me, though. You remember with the original Pixelbook, they talked about all the intelligent design and how they had designers from like over in mm-hmm. it was like Norway and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Like the most OEMs have been making devices for so long. They have their flagship devices. They have their XPSs and their elites and all that stuff. So when they create a new premium Chromebook, they kind of fold it into that. Google didn't sure. have that. And it might have been an advantage to them because Probably. they took this and said, hey, here's who Google is. Here's our mantra. Here's our material design. Here's what we go for in the Nest line and the Pixel line. Let's create something around that. Mm -hmm. And it's more intentional design than you get with the other OEMs. And hopefully Google kind of, you know, prods and encourages other. Because there have been devices. Like, I remember when we saw the first Duet tablet when we went to Vegas Mm -hmm. and we walked in and saw it. I'm like, man, that could totally have a G on the back of it. It just had a googly feel to it. to somebody that said that Google was heavy-handed with that device, too. And you can Um, see those devices where Google's kind of had their fingers on it like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I go back, and I've mentioned this many times, but one of the first devices, Chromebooks, I ever got my hands on was the HP Chromebook 11. Mm -hmm. And if you go look that device up, um, you'll see it's it's white, pill-shaped. The box, the unboxing is embarrassing, but you can go find it on our (laughs) YouTube channel. We'll link it. Um, Make sure to link it. (laughs) uh, But it, 
you know, the box itself was like a pill shaped white box and had the, a colored band. So you, there were four colors. The Google four colors were the options and the colors. And those accents came in on like the feet. Um, and then like a part on the inside, like there was like a bar or no, there's like a surround a, around yep, the keyboard. Around the out, yep. and, and that was the color you chose, but it matched the color on the outside of the box. I mean, this thing looked like a, I mean, you opened it up. I don't even think it had HP on it. Maybe. Uh, and I think it's just a Chromebook. I don't think it did. And on the bottom of the lid, it said Chrome on it, just like the original Chromebook Pixel did. It had upward firing speakers, just like the Chromebook Pixel. It had, um, one of the first, like, uh, um, it wasn't, no, it was just an IPS panel, but you know, the other couple Chromebooks that were out by then or at that point were TN panels. So they looked terrible. So it was IPS. So it had nice dark inky kind of colors and stuff. It just had a really slow processor in it, um, it but it had great Tegra? keyboard. No, that one was uh oh, shoot. Was it Haswell or pre? No, it was pre. Um, I can't remember oh, what geez. crappy processor they put in those. Uh, oh, it was that old Exynos, that very oh, first Exynos, yeah. Samsung Exynos chip. <laughs> so worse than the Tegra. It was the same thing that was in that the super bendy Samsung, the the Chromebook for everyone, the yeah. two hundred fifty dollars Samsung Chromebook. That was my uh, first Chromebook. Um, was we've that got the, one, the we've three, got one, the uh, series, series three, it's five. in that box right there, series top five, of the, top of the shelf, uh, series three. Yeah, third. series three. They had a series five that was out, two series five that were out right. before it, and then they made that super duper cheap. I mean, it's like made of rubber, <laughs> it's like bends all <laughs> over the place, floppy. very bendy, but. Uh, yeah, so so Google was clearly heavily involved there, um, and you could see it. And like you said, with the Lenovo, I'm trying to think if there's been any other devices where it's like, ah, we don't know for sure, but you can kind of tell um, that that's the case. Mm, there's nothing I, I, off the top of my I head. My big, the now. bigger HP 14, the, the my first one I got mm-hmm. from you, it had felt a little googly, probably just because it was white. But yeah, I don't. Yeah, I can't think of. I mean, any Lenovo others. did the light bar on that one, but that was. Uh, yeah, it never even did and you can't buy it so whatever um but i think that that kind of highlights what role google could play in a pixel book free world mm-hmm. um where google could step in and and not just assist manufacturers but like collaborate yeah mm-hmm. really work with them and, and brand it or i don't know market it in some way or mm-hmm. i don't like i think back i need to go look at that hp again because i'm trying to remember what was on it um I know there was an HP logo somewhere on it, but I feel like it was so downplayed. Um, and even the launch event for that device, I remember, was on Google's campus. It was small. Was but it on the keyboard deck? It was like a little round HP. My, I, I just can't remember now. Let's see if you can find it but, in the cam. Um, yeah, good luck with that one. <laughs> HP Chromebook 11. Uh, you might be able to find some pictures on the interwebs. Um what year was that? 2014? 13, 2014, something like that. So um, go back and watch the unboxing. Yeah, it's great. It's great fun. I did There's that one on that. eBay for $16. I'm pretty sure I had the, the, the chair stacked up with the pizza box I mean, we, for that we, one. I mean, got to start somewhere. Yep. Got to oh, start that's it. somewhere. So see, look, there's no there's no HP branding on that. Now, there yeah. might be on the lid. I don't know. And, and H, they made HP Chromebook 11 G blah, 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 blah. Uh, they've got their... G, yeah. The one we destroyed was a mm-hmm. HP Chromebook 11 G, yeah. G9. Um, they just keep making new ones. None of them look like that. Mm-hmm. That was the only one that they did that with. And so I could see a future where Google starts doing this with manufacturers in this very overt way um, where they don't have to go make their own Chromebook, um, but they could still influence the market in a few right. ways by taking what they you know know about. On the bottom <laughs> they, really? Let me yeah. see. Let's oh, see. look at the feet, though. So those colorful uh, feet. Yeah, that's so cool. Um, we'll make sure to throw some that's it. Yeah, photos the HP, up on the video. It's on the bottom of this thing. Yeah. And so like, but it, it also uh, sorry, it didn't have any Google. Sorry to interrupt. Either. Google on the bottom by the foot. Okay. See, that's I mean, crazy. Yeah. There, there could be some of this sure. co-branding. We're making this with Google. Because what it, was it the feels thing? Like the Nexus to play. Uh, mm-hmm edition phones that that kind of thing where there's heavy collaboration mm-hmm. uh without it having to be a first party thing right and so you know that and, and really all that google would have to do is nudge some of these people uh, you know you have hp or asus or lenovo or acer that have uh, and dell if they ever decide or samsung you know that have the 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 scale and the ability to build devices uh, you know like this unique devices that just need to decide that they want to pay more attention to 
the outer portions. And when it comes down to it, that's what makes them different. That's what right. makes the Pixel Books different. It's just the attention to that outer part of the hardware. And they should because there's no reason not to. I mean, the software is the software. It doesn't change. Google doesn't allow that. It's the same on every single device. All the hard internals, has al- that's already been tweaked and everything's ready in the in the repositories. Focus on building that yeah. that perfect exterior device. You know? Yeah, but yeah. I think the other thing that, that becomes a, a difficult ask in this situation is the fact that you can go to Best Buy right now and go pick up every Windows laptop. Don't pick up Microsoft's, but every other Windows laptop. And tell me if you don't f- if you do find one that matches Microsoft's, Apple's, or Google's build quality. There's not. And you, do, you just won't find them. And that's just, not a knock to these manufacturers, just, but scale problems or I, I don't know. And so if that's if they're not already doing it for those Windows devices, right. why, why would they do it for right? Chrome? So like Google would have to make a incentivize or yeah, right. Uh, yeah, offer, you know, kind of almost like some free services or something to help these. Well, and, and on top of that, I think they would have to say, like, look, you could, we'll let you, and we will also market this as promote it, yeah, uh, almost a first party sure. thing. So, yeah. let people know that are like, we want a Pixel Book so bad. Cool. Here's we this worked. is a Pixel Book, but we worked with Asus and Dell and HP, and we built these three Chromebooks that have that kind of pixel book vibe right. like whatever you call it whatever the program sure. is but make it clear make sure people know that that's the case and you know then i think you could have something because at the end of the day google clearly doesn't want to go and fight with their oems hey everyone thanks so much for watching this clip of the chromecast if you want to see the full episode it's linked down in the description this was just a clip just a little segment of the full portion. Show. Yeah, if you nugget. want to watch the full Snapshot. show. Just a nugget. Just a little nugget of the full show. Uh, so you can go check that out. Click the link in the description. But we appreciate you watching this one. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Go on there and click subscribe and click the notification bell so that you get an alert when we put out another clip just like this one. Okay, we'll catch you in the next one. See you.